Hello, this is Brian Houle. I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. And today I want to talk about using the export schema tool in Sharewell Service Management as a way to document development. Uh, so what we can do with export schema, we've got two places we can do it. We can do it at the business object level where we're um, clicking a link and what it will do is output to a flavor of text file. It can be XML, HTML, uh, RTF, plain text, um, all of these items and it will just pretty much report out all of the settings, what's there, what's not there, properties, everything. Um, we can do it at the business object level or we can do it at the entire system level, my export schema here. Um, it's more, kind of more useful and targeted so uh, to do it from the business object level. So if your phase two involves working on implementing problem, well, we can just go here and export that. So how do we do this? Well, so documenting Sharewell is kind of a strange thing because we can't put comments into code because there is no code. Uh, but in Sharewell, everything does have a description for the most part. And so we leverage this description field. So business objects have descriptions and uh, fields have descriptions. So as I'm developing in a given phase, what I can do is tag in the description. Now, if I were really as studious, I would have more detail in the description field and in some places I do. But if at the very least, if you just want to tag a field that you uh, either added or changed in a particular phase of development, I just tag it with a string like created by beyond 20. Um, you could certainly change this to say, you know, created phase two or just phase two or a date uh, string, whatever, whatever way you can tag it, because what you can do is once we export our schema, we can do a search through the uh, schema export for all of those items that were touched in this phase because we've tagged them in the description field. And we can then build our documentation around that. So I'm going to go ahead and export the schema for this problem object and show you what the output looks like in HTML. The goal is to uh, export the schema as HTML and then move it into something like Word where we can build a structured document. So to do that, I'm going to go to export business object schema. I'll keep all of the defaults for now and I'll click OK. And what it's going to um, ask me to do is save the schema to these file types. So XML, HTML, rich text, plain. Uh, I'm going to choose HTML at this point and we'll just call this schema and I'll put it on the desktop and click save and it will do its thing and here it is it's exported so we can click OK to clear it or if we want to view the file we can click view file and here it has so what what it's done is it has taken all of the elements in the business object and output them into this pleasing format uh, my next step, what I like to do is, I mean, you could leave it in HTML and, and be done, but what I like to do is kind of weed out um, things that I haven't touched this phase. And I do that by doing a search on my tag. So created by beyond 20. So I'll know that I've either created it or, um, or updated it because I can search for that tag. But you'll notice that we can find also field descriptions and descriptions for any object that has that field. And so what we have is this nice bit of structured text that can serve as documentation. And with a little little work, you can pop it into a, a Word document that has a style pre-applied to it. And the HTML works pretty good in converting over. And what that allows you to do is uh, by using Word, I can use Word's um, table of contents feature. Uh, again, because it's structured, because I have headers and it's, it's well-defined. Uh, that, that's the kind of thing you tend to get in the HTML. Uh, it's it's not that hard to uh, create a table of contents in Word. And so you can see everything that was changed in the field, as well as um, you know relationships, one steps, automation processes. And so if we go down here, you know it looks pretty much the same, pretty cool, right? And we have this nice table formatting that we can uh, use. It has details on the fields. And so when I'm done with my phase of development, I can deliver this to the client or I can deliver this to, you know, whatever change control or documentation uh, person that you have in your organization. 
my favorite is, is how it documents one steps, which is, is pretty cool. Um, gets pretty detailed. So that, there you have it. And what I've shown you today is a way to use the export schema, either at the business object level or at the whole system level, to assist you in creating documentation of your changes in Sharewell service management. So we'll export the schema into HTML, and then we'll bring that into Word, where we can then use various Word features to create documentation based on our changes. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Sharewell videos. Thanks. Mm -hmm.